What's up, Sarum? All right. Um. Well, we have a short. We have a. We have a little bit of time here to try to to try to hop back into this thing. Um, I do want to bring up. It was in general. No, it was in Alchemia. So here, here we go. We have the uh, for Mappus Mundi. Got an exam during your Merble stream studying right now. Rock and roll, man. Study hard. So we need to identify these lands hidden in many a great atlas. So it looks like. So it looks like Colin has already put together a few of these. We have Rock of Mercator here. We have the Kircher's Isle here and then DJ Tusk. On the format, I think I know the other two as well. Seven Year Island is in Brazil, Ireland and Raleigh's End is most likely a place in Sir Walter is looking for El Dorado. If you already knew those, then sorry. DJ Tusk, I think you're great. So let's go ahead and get this up. Uh, let's get this information up on the finagle bagel. You guys know what I mean? I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna receive a weird phone call for no reason. All right. Um, get the pen up here. So we got that up here. So now what we want to look at. The rock of here is Rupus ne Rupus Negra. Rupus Alright, here we go. Let's get going. Ooh, that's not the color we want. Okay, Rupus. Atlantis on Kurt. So Kircher's Isle is Atlantis. Okay. In the country, in a country marked by an X thus. You guys know what that means, right? We're going to plot all four of these on a map, and then we're going to go to the center of it. I, is this giving us the general directions here, northeast, south, and west, to make it easier to kind of, like, put them together? I'm not entirely sure. Um, DJ Tusk. Let's see. Uh, Seven-year island. end is uh what was it Shoot, i wish i, I could have just remembered that okay so we actually don't maybe quite know that but more importantly so i'll put this in parentheses uh
Okay. Oh my. Okay. So, first thing we have to do. Identify these lands. Oh, you're good, Zarm. Talk to you later, dude. Uh, identify these lands hidden in many a great atlas and a country marked by an X thus. So we need... Yeah, hey, catch you later, sir. Cheers, dude. Are these supposed to be real? I think so, yes. Because we have to mark... We have to make an... We're making an X on a map very similar to what we did. Very similar to what we did. So... Uh, by the way, uh, it's great to see you, Brian, and great to see you, Memo. Are you the actual places? Yes, I believe these are, because we can look here. You can see this tusk. Yo, what up? Um, you can see here, like right here, Rock of Mercator. Look at how this looks. And then you go back to here, and it's the, it looks the exact same. So I'm, I'm of the mind that yes. Right? You can see, you can see how, uh, how similar these two are. I think if those are both up on the screen. Like, very clearly, they represent what they're supposed to represent. Um, okay. So, we need to mark these... So our goal here is to take, identify these lands in a country marked by an X thus. Okay, we need to plot all four of these and then we need to, we need to go to that country, the country that's right in the middle of that X. That's what we're, that's what we're looking for. What's up, Kennison? Here for a bit? Well, I'm glad you're here for a bit. It's great to have you here for a bit. Um, that's what we got. We figured the X where they meet is what we want. Correct. The X where we the X where they meet is what we want. Now we want to make sure. Yeah. Scald, welcome, my friend. You have been you have been noticed, and the noticing went very well. It's good to see you. Um, so we an X on the other side of the world. What do you mean an X on the other side of the world? I imagine I mean, we have the four whatever, and then we just need to connect. You know, draw an X between two diagonals, two diagonals. Now, I also don't know that compass in the middle, northeast, southwest, is that giving us the general location of these? So it's going to be easier for us to understand. We need to make an X with the seven-year island at the top left, Rock and Mercator in the top right, Kircher's Isle in the bottom left, Raleigh's End in the bottom right. Um, that would at least seem, that would seem to be what we would need to do. So I'm going to start looking up here. Now, uh, DJ Tuss, there's nothing really on the X you go to at first, but every set of lines crosses on the other side of the world too. Correct. That's a good, and that is a good point. That is a good point. Yes. So are you, so you're saying that it could be either, right? It could be either. Now, okay, so let, let's go through these. Isn't Atlantis in the bottom of the sea? There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Ba -ba -ba, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Ba -ba -ba, there's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. South of the water. If we go south of the water of the mythical water water, then you get the answer of the thing unit. Seven-year island. Uh, why, why Seven Year Island, DJ Tusk? And also, uh, 
Are you are you getting Wi-Fi on the plane? Is that what you're doing? Have you did you just decide to go Wi-Fi plane and let's uh, let's rock and roll with this thing? Correct. They're all so I would think they would be real, but then looking at now I've looked up the uh, high Brazil phantom islands to the line of the atlantic ocean so now i'm beginning to think uh from brian's question are these supposed to be real i believe no i believe these are all supposed to be not real i'm at lax at my terminal gotcha how long until your flight um okay so we have Is Brazil not real now? Oh, sorry, Memo, you missed the mem you Memlo missed the memo. Mmm, memo missing Memlo. Yeah, Brazil, uh, Brazil's no longer a real thing. It's all been in our head, dude. It's crazy. Oh, dog. <sighs> okay. I know, but you can't be dogging around all the time, dude. You're just dogging. You know what I mean, dude? You can't be just dogging around sometimes. I know that you want to be involved all the time. I know you're looking for attention. I know, no, 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 I know it, you know? All right, come here. Nope, you're, if you want to come up here, come on. Come on, you know the drill, let's go. Come on, good, there you go. Okay, come here. There you go. <laughs> did you get did you get bigger overnight, dude? Yo, what's up, Karen? How you doing, dude? Takes off at eleven thirty-three. Oh, dude, that'll be perfect because we're streaming. It's a short stream today, so that's gonna be. So you'll leave, but we won't be streaming for too much longer after you leave. Atlas says hi, everybody. Don't you? Don't you just say hi? He says hi to all the people. All right. Oh. I think it would be cool to puzzle from 20,000 feet in the air, I agree. Oh, Memo's learning to type everybody, this is exciting. All right, let's get back to it. Dog distraction is over. So we have, this is, what do we do? North. And then what else did we have? We had, Middle of the Atlantic. Mid Atlantic. Okay. We can just look up where, uh, so this is off the coast of, this is coast Ireland. That's gonna make a weird X. So I think we may be looking at what uh, what DJ Tusk was already mentioning, where we're looking at the other side. We're looking at making an X around the other side of the world. Um. 
Um, let me see here. So first, let's look at a... Uh, There's no way to orient them the way they are on this page. First of all, are we are we pretty confident in these answers? numbered that is a very interesting as well oh so not the coast that is actually in So now, let's see if we can get in, because, yeah, that's a pretty weird-looking X here. was beheaded in the old palace yard of the Palace of Westminster on 29th of October 1618. Just heard the thing that the Twitch subscribe share button doesn't show up if you're using better Twitch TV. Oh my. Oh, Memlo. Is it going to work now? So the, the problem then, the only issue I would have, uh, Kinnison, is if that, if Raleigh's end matches the, the picture we have here. So. If Ireland is here, north. that X meet. What's the other one? Ireland North. Mid-Atlantic. Mid-Atlantic is here. So it would be on the opposite, so it would be opposite side.
That pink island is the site of the Roanoke colony. That would make a lot more sense, uh, because that would give us a nice X, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, that X would cross right into the Atlantic, which would not necessarily help us. Pretty close in shape to me. like a dead set exact similarity sorry that wins hands down that's the exact same shape the exact same shape so okay got it Yeah, we're sitting with Guyana. Guiana. Guiana. Now, we have to actually cross this thing. So we have our four islands. Let's exit. Let's exit up. Um, Dice? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so... Multiple input.
Oh my goodness, did I screw it up? Has anybody already drawn the X? That's all I'm trying to do right now. Strong X. How are those in this this software sucks. Uh Does the next line Maybe. Identify these lands hidden in many a great atlas. Got it. And a country marked by an X thus. Is this country also a mythical country? It feels it, it feels like that's its own thing, but we could certainly work on the next part. Dot dot dot. It's true. It's the ellipse there. Sammy. I'm not browse street view. I just want to. I just want to make a mark. Is there any way to do that? That's going to take me away from here. That's not my goal. I just want to make like a... Cannot like save this point? Jeez, this is so frustrating. Okay, here we go. This one is a little bit better. So we have the connection between. So we need to have like a globe. It seems that way at least. So if we were doing this. And we are doing this. I should just bring, I should just bring this up here. So let's go to... Okay. So... We can, we can kind of use this, I think. Okay, and then we have the North Pole, which is going to be a bit awkward, isn't it? No, don't do that. Please don't do that. Um, where off the coast of Ireland? And then Atlantis is what, here? And then, you know, 
of like a dot way up here. Westish. Okay, we'll go like we we'll go like here. So an X here would look like this, putting a country like maybe a country like right here in the middle. Um, is there a country that is also mythical that used to be in the center here? Otherwise, we go to the outside or we use the compass, but we could go like to the like around the outside, if that makes sense. And then this would go. This is why we would need a. This is why we need a globe. Let's go down and around and come back around. So what we can know from this is that it rules out like anything that's extremely south or extremely north. No, we can't know that without the globe, I think. So I think I think when DJ Tusk mentioned that we were looking at the other side, I think that makes sense because otherwise our X is going to be in the center of the uh, the Atlantic, and that is not going to give us a result that we're looking at. is closer to Portugal. Okay. Here, Ireland, and then some North Pole, right? Five of the Glides of the Atlantic Ocean, your guide to summer adventure. Hi, Brazil. Okay, we know that one. Just off the west coast of Ireland. Northern coast of Africa, no. West coast of Ireland. Isle of Demon, somewhere off the coast of Newfoundland. This island was first out in the 60s year of Ash Hard Video as well. The is probably there somewhere. I don't think that one sits with us at all. I'm sorry, you guys can't even like read these. Just to the Witch of Portugal. So there's a few maps that are just to the west of Portugal. I don't think I don't think any of those in that context really really helps now what about whoops this northeast southwest we got going on here are we supposed to draw the x's is that telling us to draw the x's that way like what if we're supposed to reorient this so what if it's actually our x goes like so this is that because the rock of Mercator is uh, is north, right? This is north. And then we're supposed to like draw the line slightly diagonal. Which one was Kircher's Isle? Raleigh's was Guyana. Kircher's Isle was Atlantis in the center. 
So perhaps what we're supposed to do is connect like north here line. And then it wants us to connect Guyana and what if Atlantis was here and the answer is Iceland? Any questions? Iceland. Done. Easy. Boarding. See y'all on the plane. We're going to be closing up uh, at some point here. Um, island win. Uh, I'll be talking about the road trip this week. I probably need to go finish packing. See you later, Kissin. Tied for last year division. Congratulations, dude. I'm hearing you say Iceland. Is that anywhere near Newfoundland from that website? Um... the where was the somewhere off the coast of Newfoundland um okay I mean somewhere off the coast of Newfoundland would be like right here and we had here Atlantis Guyana and North Pole. So I don't see how those are going to connect. Wait. What do you guys think? If we draw the map going the going that direction. up here it needs to connect the problem is I'm connecting the wrong direction this is showing we're making an X so rock top right Kircher's Isle bottom left seven year island top left which is the uh, which is Ireland so Ireland top left so the problem here's the problem okay but it says go down to the right Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm just kind of marking the general location here of where the North Pole is going to be in comparison. 
but that could be very wrong as far as like the X. But if we were to do this, and this is top right, and it wants to go down. You see what I'm saying? Like if we're connecting these this way, this is this is my approximation of what like it going around a globe would look like. Yeah, that's why we need a globe. Because it's not it's you can't you can't do it with the map. So globe. Globe.gov. Perfect. Globe me, bro. Nope, this is not this is a educate I want a interactive globe thank you 3d interactive earth globe got him let's go Trent photorealistic I just want okay here we go Move around the earth and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out sick all right so north pole here we go so we have north pole down to where can it can it not spin can you not there we go so now we have and I think we have a spot here right just off the coast of Ireland we have a spot that's like out here and then we have a spot that's like down here Actually, I might be able to get all these on the same thing. Hold on. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so here. 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 Karen, I think you're great, dude. I think you're nuts, man. Can we get a confirmation on the Atlantic? Uh, Brian, you said that it was a bit closer to Portugal. Like, it was kind of close-ish to Portugal. We have here in the lake in Guyana. So... If we go, okay, so top right was north, it was going northeast, and it wants us to connect down to Guyana, is that correct? No, not Guyana. It wants us to connect to Atlantis. We need, we need to know where Atlantis is, team. This is saying... Wow. Atlantis is huge! Of course it's marbles. This, according to this picture, this is like Atlantis. Like right there. So we have this option, which is just connecting them. We connect these in quite a few ways though, right? So this is, the, this is like the representation of the four points that we have, guys. So what I'm thinking is we need to go, we need to loop this thing around. We may need to use the directions it's saying. It's saying that like if we're connecting this in an X, it doesn't want us to do an X down. It wants to do an X like sideways. Like it says that the Mercator, Rocket Mercator up the North Pole needs to go like is northeast as compared to Atlantis. So would we do something like this? So we go like, and then it like goes, you know what I mean? I need like an actual globe and I need to make tape and do this. This is ridiculous. And then We have this guy. 
How on earth can we map the opposite of this? That's the problem. <laughs> oh. Then we need to go the other way for this one. Somewhere on the other side of the world, these things connect. That's the issue. Somewhere on the other side of the world. It's Australia, mate. if we wanted oh. what's up chips perhaps if we wanted we could go on to the second one and see what that looks like and see if that matches up that's how we can know um, if that makes sense So, like, if we were to look up, uh... Sigmasons? So I'm on... So what we're looking at here... Let me put this up here so everybody can be on the... Same page, if you will. So this is... Irish Coast... This is North Pole. This is East Atlantic, and this is S? No, it's an M. But it keeps giving me the Sigismund. Sigismund's Alchemist. Michael Sendivogius. Sendivogius, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, cool. Um, in Poland, died in the Roman Empire in 
Now there's that place, uh... I mean, if we're crossing this... Because I know that the bones... Oh, I just typed in the bones. A manually operated calculating device created by Joe and Apier Murchison for calculation products and quotients of numbers based on her mathematics and the loudest multiplication used by this is the only day uh, Fibonacci's working is. Oh, and Fibonacci? Oh, now we're connecting to Fibonacci. Why not? Okay. So that's what I'm wondering. Now Napier's bones equaling this Napier or whatever. Like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Cause I think we need a location. This may be like a red herring cause it's so easy to look up. But don't you see, think it's strange that the thing is called this thing and we get this thing. I, I would be more inclined to go with his location of where he's buried. He died in Scotland. So we have Poland and Scotland. Or is there something that's trying to tell us where... Now it's worth noting, it says fill a table... 10 by 5. So we're filling a table like this. With what we find. and latch of the island locations uh correct ghost ships that's what we are so the we already looked up what these islands are we figured that part out drawing an x is a little more difficult without a globe to actually draw an x around so we could try to get what that like the country marked by an x thus um and then it's wanting us to cross more things so we're crossing alchemist and uh not Pierre's bones, Magus of Co, much what looks like scowls put up. Um, yeah, the uh, Fata Morgana, complex form of a superior mirage that's seen in a narrow band right above the horizon. So I think the uh, Morgana is going to be a hint as to how to take the table apart and get an answer from it um so if we have sigmund's alchemist which i'm just going to say sigmund because it's just easier say Sig Sig sigmason's which is actually which the problem with this is this is not actually that it is not sigmund it is sigismund so i'm not sure if there's something else i need to be seeing here Assuming the alchemist is who I'm thinking is the king's alchemist, it was this guy, Sendivogius, who was born in Poland. Born Poland. Died Rome. Um In the Czech Republic, he died in the Czech Republic. So are we doing are we doing where they where they died? Is that the idea? So he died. Czech Republic. Um Napier was Scotland. Um, 
Magus is this guy, Thomas Finagelbagel. And I always have to close up, actually, guys. It's only going to be a short stream this morning. Of course, you're welcome to keep working on it, and we will touch on this at some point in time during the weekend. Um, I always like the quest for the Philosopher's Stone. Well, that seems... Uh, that's accurate. Buried in Otterhampton Church near Bridgewater. Okay. What is, what is this codex about? Anybody know what the codex is about? So this is Brian giving us what the codex might... Why do you think this is the Codex? Oh, there it is, Beresh, right there. Check Anticollector and Alchemist from Prague. No for his connection to the Voynich manuscript. I, I like that. So, if you look back at this real quick, this is, and one the Codex owns. One the Codex And one the Codex owns. I mean, that's really strange. No, it says, and one the Baresh Codex owns. So I think it's it's talking about the Baresh Codex in particular, considering the previously kept. Right now it is owned by Yale, so I don't think that's gonna be, that doesn't really seem on point. Is it, is it Baresh that we need to go look at? But in, so do you think that's what it is, Yoda speak? So you can see over here, Earliest confirmed owner. So we could almost work backwards from this, though, couldn't we? Okay.
Okay. Are you kidding me? Can I just can I can I just click something? Is that okay? Can I just do that? Is that okay? Holy mother. Okay, so if we look here, we got uh so the Czech Republic. Um So we have England, Czech Republic, Scotland's up here. If we did Austria, I'll erase this, but let's just find out. So we have like, boop, boop, boop. 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 Wow, I need to draw those lines better. Holy smokes. So the cross, the crossing would be... Now, these can be shifted a little bit. This is just, this is very loose because we don't have the specific spots or we, I'm not mapping the specific spots right here. So we can be a lot more precise with this. Um, but right here, I mean, it's looking like Germany. It could be, you know, Netherlands, Belgium, but it looks like something-ish, Ger Germany-ish. We still don't even know like what on earth we're actually looking for as far as the output because of the five by 10 grid. Um, I have to go to work guys. And that means Edinburgh in a different language. I think it's the Gaelic pronunciation. I just, when I read that, I just keep thinking Dunedine. And then I just think Lord of the Rings. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so feel free to uh, chip away if you want. Uh, tonight we're on marbles. And then uh, we've got... Uh, and then we'll try to pick up uh, a stream sometime this weekend to hit Alchemy again. Okay, work time. <laughs>